Definitely with the herbs now. All herbs are not made equal, right? And I know you promote the consumption of herbs. But what I notice with a lot of people in certain areas is yes, they could promote it because when you have access to grow it or they know it was growing. Uh -huh. What would you say to people in America that's using the herb? Would you still tell them to consume it? Or that's a very good way to put it, you know, because a lot of times I am not sensitive enough to the fact that it's not as readily accessible. So I have the luxury of living in Jamaica where I can get a pound and make my oil and make my medicine. But for those who live over here, you have to remember, they treat ganja like drugs over here and they are genetically modifying herb and shifting the THC CBD balance to give you the highest high like is coke them trying to create with the ganja. I don't promote that. I don't, I, so I would travel the world and don't even use no herb for three months because I can get organic herb that I, you have to be careful what you're putting into your brain, right? Because all of the energy surrounding the way it was planted and so on, all of this goes into your body. Just like when you eat animals, all of the tension that is created inside these animals when they're about to be slaughtered, you internalize it when you eat it. So you have to think about the herbs in the same way. If you can't get the ganja, you have to go learn to meditate without it. And you have to go find some other herbs too. Because we're not just promoting getting high. We're promoting wellness. And herb ganja is a thing that is good for your brain. Your brain has cannabinoid receptors. That means you are designed to use this thing to heal yourself. So, and you can get, you know, you can get this from other things too. But if you can't get the ganja... You have to go try to grow it. You have to go try to secretly grow even a little one plant. I promote that. I promote growing it yourself. And if you can't, then you have to go do your investigation, do your research and find out if it is really that important to you. Because putting some bush weed or some brick weed or some weed where somebody stick up in them, woe, woe, if you care, come over it. This don't do nothing for you. This can't heighten your meditation. You know what I mean? So you have to look at why am I using this herb? Am I a junkie? Am I addicted to this thing? Because we're not promoting addiction either. So unless I can get the best quality of food and anything to put into my body, it is not going into my body. So that is my personal stance. But, you know, I understand that living in this kind of society, it's hard for a man to have something to escape, you know what I mean? So that is a dilemma, a question I cannot answer. But I just would have said, as much as you can, try to get the best quality food in general to consume.